eight coming in January 2024. All right, I'm now joined okay. by Shelby Carlton and Dave Swenson from Sledgehammer because oh boy, 10, now we got Call of Duty, Duty Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare right now. Three arrives, and today you guys will be the first audience in the world to see some raw, real gameplay from the campaign. Uh, Dave, Shelby, welcome to Gamescom. What can you tell us about uh, Modern Warfare Three? Well, first of all, Jeff, it is awesome to be here. Modern Warfare Three okay, this year is the so it is package. true that Sledgehammer will be handling a Modern Warfare maps, Three. All from the original Modern Warfare Two. These maps have been modernized with new gameplay and features. We also have open world zombies. This is our lar largest zombies. Yeah, yeah. This is our largest yeah, zombie offering there, there ever. There was never a zombies mode in, uh, in the modern, modern Warfare, Warfare games. And All this while it was this in year, Black Ops. A huge Black Ops has zombies mode, yes, but never on. Uh, campaign, Shelby. Uh, never nice, in a modern uh, Warfare Macaron, game that has a zombie. Factor into this team over there. Uh, tell us a bit about what is the what is the storyline? What can we expect from the campaign? Yeah, so for the first time for Call of Duty this year, we're doing a direct sequel. You know, Modern Warfare 2, they asked a lot of interesting questions in their story, and Sledgehammer Games is so excited to work with Infinity Ward on the campaign to answer some of those questions and to okay. bring you Modern Warfare 3. And one of those answers, he's actually he's standing right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> he is Makarov. He is our infamous antagonist. He is cold. He is calculated. And yeah, Makarov is um, one of the most popular him, antagonists Task Force in a Call of Duty game. Has I kid you not. So we are just so excited to get this campaign into the players' hands. All right, well, we are going to see a uh, playthrough of a campaign level. But first, Dave, I want to talk about something new you're doing, open combat missions. What are those? So Call of Duty is known for epic cinematic stories, as Shelby talked about. And yep. this year in Modern Warfare 3, we're introducing a new innovation to the Call of Duty campaign that's going to allow players to interact with that story like never before. We call them open combat missions. Open combat missions are player directed. They allow the audience to play the game the way they want to play it. So if you're like me and you like stealth, you can go in quiet, you can equip suppress weapons, complete all the objectives without the enemies ever knowing you were there. But if you want to go in loud, you can strap on armor plates, you can go and hit the enemy head on, and open combat missions will support it. You can leverage vehicles, you can leverage is this, tacticals, lethals, is this you can all, even use all your this favorite multi kill streaks in campaign. It was good though. Now open combat missions are really important to our campaign story, and they're gonna work seamlessly with those epic cinematic missions that Call of Duty fans know and love. And tonight we want to show you an exclusive first look at one of these epic cinematic missions. Okay, uh, set it up for us, Shelby. What are we going to see? This is the start of the game almost, right? Yeah, so this is a sneak peek of the very first level of Modern Warfare 3. This is called Operation 627. All right, Operation check it out. 6 Here you go, Call of Duty at Gamescom first. Thanks, guys. So we're going to have a first look of um, the, the first mission of... Uh, Modern Warfare 3, okay. Okay, starting things off, we're in the uh, submarine, okay. Just like in, um... No, 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 I, I was thinking of, um... The, the second mission of the, the of the OG Modern Warfare 3. It started off different, it started off different. That mission was uh, we're infiltrating the uh, the submarine. This one is your you're exiting the the submarine. Alpha being clear. Wait. Adding to surface. Yeah, it's totally different. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It looks dark though. The lighting looks like dark. But then again, I'm pretty sure this, these are all cinematics. Wait. That's it? Alpha Team, Operation 627, Kostovian Sea. So, who 
be controlling. So it's after him, it's definitely the US, right? Holy crap, the, the graphics though. Holy crap. Hooks up. Good hook. Let's get up top. The campaign is gonna be good cool without a shadow of a doubt. But I'm just a bit worried of the of the the multiplayer section in the modern warfare tree. Walking down the sand, I'll copy. Solid relay went clear. Moving a mark easy. Stand by. Nods on. I have strips on. Of course. The rebooted modern warfare series really really heavily heavily relies on the on the night vision a very heavy use of night vision compared to the whole g1 dc clear three one get the light alpha to bravo one marking with ir confirm visual visual bravo inbound Got another team. Alpha Charlie, you set? Affirmative. All teams green to go in phase two. Check. Roger. Alright. Check those corners. Wow, the detail, holy crap. And the rain, holy crap. Loading interior. Don't forget to check All them clear. corners, buddy. Descending stairwell, south side. Whenever I play Modern Warfare 2, I. <laughs> The, the the NPC will always remind me to check them corners. Not off. Right. Five. They got a bird up. Movement in the courtyard. Looks like a prisoner transfer. Not our guy. On me. Hold up here. Oh my God. This... All teams out of position. Copy. Bravo six. Charlie, put the bell. Oh. Roger. I heard Bravo. Fire in the hall. Stand by. Three, two, one. Execute. Oh, each other. They're taking the bait. Light them up. Light them up. Oh, they're playing on the... Oh, this was being recorded on the on the PlayStation. Yep, it's being recorded on the PlayStation. Do this low on ammo. Okay, he he threw all three smoke um slopes for for cover. Okay, understandable, understandable. Now they're going down. Bravo, Alpha's in the tunnels. What's your status? Outside the control room, waiting on you. Check when we reach. Stand by. Right. Man, what the hell? He moves dark. All teams, let's roll front down. Bravo. I doubt my P my current PC can handle can handle these graphics. Oh Yep, once again. Very heavy use on the on the night missions. Is this the ghoul? 
life? This reminds me of the of the mission in um, in Modern Warfare 2 where where the team was saving um, Price in the in the gulag. Alpha one to Bravo one. Open fifty five C. Yeah, not not everywhere, but I think this really reminds me of the that one mission in Modern Warfare Two, the gulag mission. But the, the approach is different. Yeah, it reminds me of that. I might be wrong though, but this this totally reminds me of that one mission in um, OG Modern Warfare 2. Clear. But the act, but they they take on a more dark um, atmospheric approach. Because they're now trying their best to heavily up. rely on the uh, heavy use on the, okay. the night vision. Wait. Ready breach. Breach her up. And that's it. So what? November 10. Who were they trying to rescue? You can stay tuned for more Modern Warfare 3 details Operation and gameplay six, when Call of Duty Next, the premier showcase event for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, Call of Duty Mobile and Warzone takes place. We're announcing it tonight on October 5th. You can jump in for yourself when the multiplayer. I hope the guy on that's uh, they they're trying to rescue so is not Macro. Share with you, but man. first, here's an update on Nightingale, the new shared. But we'll see.